everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Mario Galaxy Rock Paper Super. Um, the last video we I got really confused and forgot what I was talking about on multiple occasions and we kind of finished off everything that we can do in the terrace for the moment even though I'm pretty sure there's like a couple more um, comets that can occur there but there aren't any comments any comments comments anywhere at the moment what's this galaxy the dusty doom do you know what i think i'll actually prefer to go back to freeze flame for the moment and do baron burr um but the last episode i started talking about super mario maker which is like one of the most satisfyingly fun games that there is um We've got to catch this bony again. Um, like, and I, I think I was like talking about like some of the levels I made. Then, then I made this level called Chomp View Terrace. Like that, like you know, like Lake View Terrace, except with chomps. And of course, there's like a Samuel L. Jackson chomp, and there's like the, and there's like his two children. Like the the, the level starts off where it's like a Super Mario Brothers tree level. Um. And the level starts off that it's like these two houses next to each other. And like one of them has Samuel L. Jackson in it and his two kids in there. And one of them has like these a red Koopa and a green Koopa. So that's like the mixed race couple that lives next to Samuel L. Jackson. And because Samuel L. Jackson's such a jackass, he's just like, Oh, I hate mixed race couples. It's like, yeah, but they're just normal people being a couple. It's like, who cares? But obviously you do because your wife ran off with a white man. Um, and you just have like a huge chip on your shoulder because of that. Um, so then like like the, the outside, like the, the, so there's these two houses and you can go into the two houses because that's something that I love is like making buildings that you can go into and then there's like a bigger, like you go in there and then there's like a room that you're inside and or whatever in another part of the level. Like that's one, one that's like my favorite, one of my favorite things to do in in levels in Mario Maker is to like have like secret rooms. I've got to get out of this water. <laughs> that was I made it just in time. Um, and then like there's like a pipe that you can go into, which leads into just this weird chomp world, um, which just has all sorts of chomp-related things. As far as the eye can see, just chomps, chomps, chomps everywhere. Um, so that's Chomp View Terrace. And then, like the most recent level I made was like a like after like because they're after like bringing out a, a like um, a Toadette, like a Captain Toad Treasure Tracker Toadette now. Um, and I, you guys know I love Toadette, so I couldn't resist making a sequel to. Um, to my Toe Donkey level, so there, now there's Toe Donkey 2, um, the King Monty's Lair, I think is what I called it. So now there's like a Toe Donkey 2, so a sequel to my original Toe Donkey level, um, and like it's kind of like puzzly as what well. it's like the whole theme of it, just like the original one, is that it's kind of like a puzzly kind of a level. Um, so like that like and that's like the most kind of like biggest scale level that I've made so far obviously um, and like I did put like a lot of effort into it I actually ran out of blocks on both the or, or, on both the normal level Oh I'm going to get you you can't escape from me I, I, I can't believe I'm seeing this. Like, what's he doing? But still, like, made mincemeat out of that asshole. Um, <laughs> the... <laughs> so, like, I actually ran out of blocks on both your initial, like, level, like, the overworld and the sub-level. Um, and it's kind of like, like, the over-level is, like, um, a find all the red coins to get the key kind of thing, and there's, like, little rooms that you can go into and stuff. And then, like, the sub-level is, like, an underground Monty Mole Cave kind of level. Um, so, oh, there's a new galaxy after opening up in the kitchen. How interesting. How fascinating. 
Let's go there instead of going to Dusty Dunes Galaxy. Even though I must say, Dusty Dunes is one of the few desert levels that I really, really, really like. Like, usually, like, desert levels, I don't hate them, but they're not exactly my favourite thing. Um, but Dusty Dunes is, like, an example of a desert level that I'm actually quite fond of. Because you guys know, usually I like water levels, like swamp levels, water levels, things like that, like... Whereas, like, most people hate water levels, I don't know. Let me see what actually opened up here. What's this? Boy base galaxy. I might get, maybe I'll get like the green star. I actually quite like this level actually. How much time have we are we on? I think it's like six or seven minutes. So yeah, I'll which star will I do? Will I do like the green star first? I might as well. Seeing as I have to go under the water anyway, I'm gonna to have to get a torpedo to break something, so I might as well get the torpedo to break that as anything else. This level is actually quite cool, I like it. Um and it has these like these little gear mo guys, which I think they're so cute. Look at them. That's a floating fortress. We call it boy base. Nobody's using it now, so we're just here for upkeep. So yeah, basically we've got to. Um. And I don't understand. Like that's another thing that I like don't one hundred percent understand, is people that find like underwater levels so difficult in games are you yeah i was wondering if you were actually going to actually launch something at me or not there we go um i was wondering if he was actually going to bother launching something at me but yeah so now we just have to go here and run this gamish of um dodging bullets here um but yeah because i don't know like i've never had issues with water controls no i didn't mean to do that and like the gravity is so strong that like you can't like break through once like it sucks you which you can't get through so where's like my pipe again excuse me where are you there you are Um, cause yeah, I've never, like, in this game and, like, Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, Mario 64, I've never really had issues with water controls or swimming or anything. Like, I don't know what people usually find difficult about it. Is it, like, the logic of it? Like, that people don't understand, like, the way that the controls work? Or what is it? I've got to like lure this guy in here. There we go. That didn't take any length of time at all. We've been going for like nine minutes. I might be able to fish in another level here. Another level. But yeah, I don't know. Like I think the thing that like makes it difficult in Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie is that like most people have trouble with the camera in those games. And I never have issues with the camera in Banjo-Tooie or Kazooie, because I just played a whole game with the OR button held down. And the camera just stays behind me all the time. I don't think I ever take my finger off the OR button playing Banjo-Kazooie or Banjo-Tooie. Ask the Green Lumas about them. After all, they will transform into green power stars someday. Yeah, I'll save. I'll take you up on that offer. Oh, they've got another letter for me. It's probably from Toadstool. <laughs> Just to show you how much I care about that letter. <laughs> okay, Green Luma, lay it on me. Thank you for helping me. I am a guardian of the trial galaxies. To restore the doorway, we will need one, two others like me. So we need to find the two other green stars. Now, one of them is found by Luigi, isn't it? And one of them is in... Dusty Dunes Galaxy, I think? What other levels are there to do that might go quite quickly? Um, Dusty Dunes Galaxy will not go quickly. What's the next one? The next level on Gusty Gardens is a boss. So what do we have on offer here? 
Um, freeze flame. Mm. Let's no, let's not. Let's go to Dusty Dunes Galaxy. I'll get, I don't want to like leave this like galaxy that unloved because, as I say, I actually quite like this galaxy. As desert galaxies go, like I, as desert levels go, I quite like this one. Do you know? And the thing, I think that's another thing about Mario Galaxy 2 is you never really... A lot of the galaxies only have like one or two stars in them. You never really get the chance to really fall in love with a level. Whereas like I find like in... in and a lot of them are so small, like there are none of... There aren't really any levels that are... Kind of... There aren't really any levels that in Galaxy 2 that are big and open enough for you to... I know I've said this before, that are big and open enough for you to get the chance to really enjoy them. Can I make it all the way over to this pipe just on the strength of this one twister? I hope so! No, I can't. What you're actually supposed to do is fall into that other one, aren't you? Oh well, I had to die sometime. Hey, Dry Bones. Dry Bones is like my mortal enemy, and we were like playing, whatever way it worked out, we were playing um, Mario Kart Wii in my aunt's place. And we, um, no, you can't make that. Let's just wait patiently for a twister to come along. But yeah, we, whenever I go to my aunt's place, we usually end up playing Mario Kart Wii. Um, and I usually end up being King Boo. I don't know why I always pick King Boo, because I seem to like do badly as him, but I always do, either King Boo or Toad. Um, and whatever it is, for some reason, whenever I play that game, um, whenever I play that game, it always seems like... Flower, I swear. Or plant or whatever you There we go, that'll show you. Yeah. Um uh, I do, it's always dry bones as my nemesis. Can, can I please like not get hit by one of these flowers? Would that be too much to ask? Aha, thank you. Thank you for in indulging me. I'm pretty sure there's like a secret See the thing is like there really aren't that many secrets in this game. It's in like Mario Galaxy 2 that you have to contend with like the whole like green star mess. Um, whereas like you don't really have to contend with that in this game. Like I'm pretty sure there probably is some secret if you go to the left there across those swamps. Or maybe if we go over here. But I don't really care that much, because I know it's not going to be anything that important. Just like that's not going to be anything that important as far as I know, yeah. Whereas like in Mario Galaxy 2, funnily enough, despite the fact that all the levels are kind of boring and short, there's actually a point in exploring because of the green stars, so I suppose there's that. But the thing is, as I say, most of the levels are just these short little things. And you spend no real time in end like you usually there's only like a couple of stars in each level. Whereas like in this game there could be like five stars or six stars in like a big level like this or like Honey Hive or Freeze Flame or somewhere like that, so you actually get the chance to to find out about the levels. I'm just gonna go straight up here, screw you. I nearly finished the level anyway. There's like the there's scratch. Scratch grounder. Scratch grounder. Scratch and grounder. I swear, never have there been like two funnier villains in anything. Like that that Sonic cartoon is just a blast. Like I love it so much. I swear. What it even is in here? Oh, those. They're actually quite important. And this is actually quite important, isn't it? Um, 
I think so. Oh, it's just star bits. See, the thing is, like, if, if I end up needing star bits, I can always go grind for them off screen, so. I, I won't, like, I, I won't put too much effort into getting them on screen because there's not, like, really that much need to. If you know what I mean, I don't have to, so I'm not going to. Oh, that, that was close. Oh my god. Can I really not, like, wall jump after a spin jump? No, but I can do that. But yeah, the, the dusty dunes. This doesn't. This level doesn't really do it much justice. There's like, cause the the purple coins level in this level is really good as well. That's another one of my favorites, cause it's another kind of like relaxing one where you actually get to spend quite a lot of time in the world. But I think we're done here, are we? We we we've been like doing this video for 14, 15 minutes. Um, yeah, and I'm getting kind of tired after recording Ocarina of Time as well, so, um, I'm going to try, um, next week and be a bit more planned for Ocarina of Time, because this week I wasn't really planned for it at all. Um, no, I'm going to see how much food does that Hungry Luma want, because that might influence my decision to decide on what I want to do in this game next. For next week, um... How much do you want, buddy? 800. Do I have that many? No, I don't, so screw you. Um, they, like, I might try and plan for Ocarina of Time a bit better the next time. I'll either do, like, five of the pose and then go on to Gerudo Valley, rather than doing, like, ten of the pose all at once, because that's just going to tire me out and it's not going to be fun for me, so. Um, yeah, I suppose, and I'm going to try and get Hatpole Boyfriend up and running as well, so. Thanks a million for watching this part of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.